Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, doing what we do best, breaking down the game you and I love for the hardcore, smart college football fan. That would be you. And if it's not you, you stick it right here. You stay, you lock it in, and we'll educate you. All right, we got the wholesome one on the line talking Miami football. Join him on his YouTube channel, the wholesome one, H-O-L-S-U-M, and the number one. We are going position by position, breaking down the Canes. Please lock it in right here again. Uh, help us support the channel. Uh, grab the Amazon link in the description section below. Join us on Patreon for two exclusive live streams each and every week at our Voice of College Football community as well. At the linebacker position, I'm going to date myself, wholesome one. I'm going to go back to the New Orleans Saints of the early 90s and all the way back to the Pittsburgh Steelers of the, the mid to late 70s and winning four Super Bowls. The, the heart of the defense the core was two linebacking units, which with Ricky Jackson, Pat Swilling, and Sam Mills for the Saints. It was Jack Lambert, Jack Ham, two Hall of Famers, Andy Russell for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were stalwarts that played together as a unit, as a linebacking unit, year after year after year after year together, which is uh, just doesn't happen. You take that to the college level, and it doesn't happen because obviously to get – three outstanding players recruited at the same time with the ability to step on the field at the same time as freshmen play as a unit and sustain that for four years is unheard of completely at the college unit. But that's what you've got at the university of Miami with those three outstanding starting linebackers. <laughs> you are, you, you know, your Miami hurricanes information. Right? That's right. Give us some great info. Yes. These are the backers. Uh, and the beautiful part about experience is something you can't teach. Uh, it is the greatest teacher. With these young men, they have been through it all at the University of Miami. Coming in as true freshmen in 2016 and being a part of the new turnaround of the program. Losing four close games. One by a block entry point to Florida State. One with a horrific offense in North Carolina. But going on on a five-game win streak mark and bringing the first bowl game win versus West Virginia in over a decade. Then they go into 2017, riding a 15-game winning streak. Stats all over the place. They make All-American. They do the all-conference this. They make all the plays. But we go on a three-game losing streak that derailed program. But we still went in a little hot going into 2018. And Mark also experienced having all that hype around not only your position group, not only the defense, not only uh, our coaches, but the team having being as high as ranked number eight in the country and going seven and six. So they have experienced it all as a unit together. And they have fought and played through with you know, praise to God, healthiness all the way through all three seasons. And now they've come back for their fourth season to pull it all together. And that's the reason why they all came back, because they saw what they had done over the last three years, the up and down, and they want to go out on and up. Ten wins or more is what Shaq, Shaq Quarterman wants, and that is what Shaq Quarterman will make sure happens. Let's talk about the captain, Shaq Quarterman. Six foot one, 230 pounds senior. He has fluctuated his weight. He has realized that his, as a freshman, he wanted to be a power lifter and knock people's heads off. As a sophomore, he realized he needed to get a little bit more covers. And as a junior, kind of pulled it all together as being a hard hitter, a sound tackler, cerebral, but could also cover to a certain extent. The consistency of Shaq Quarterman is what we all love about him. 250 total tackles, 31 TFLs, and 11 sacks, Shaq Quarterman. Next to him, I call him the playmaker. Most people call Michael Irvin the playmaker. Defensive playmaker is Mike Pinkney. Weak side linebacker number 56. Six foot one, 228 pounds, also a senior. 203 total tackles, 29 and a half TFLs, 10 sacks, and three interceptions to date for Mike Pickney. Might be that those two right there are battling for who's going to be picked first in the NFL, but they also come with such chemistry together. Shaq taking on blocks and Mike Pickney shooting gaps, blitzing and Mike Pickney taking over the middle, understanding that, that 
Shaq is not as well in coverage, so we might want to sit him at the quarterback. Learning what each other does and reacting off of it and not even having to think. That's what we mess up at our defense is having to think and we fall step. They don't do that. They work together. Chemistry. Now, the player who's been injured and hasn't shown as much and has left a lot to be desired is Zach McLeod, 6'3", 230-pound senior. Hopefully, he can turn the corner. A former 3-4 outside linebacker in high school, a turned strong side linebacker in a 4-3 in college, 129 total tackles, 12 and a half CFLs, three and a half sacks to date for him. Behind those three starters is a lot of inexperience and unfortunately a lot of injuries. Bradley Jennings, number 44, six foot one, 230 pound red shirt sophomore, 15 total tackles and one fumble recovery to date. He's coming off of an unknown injury going into the fall. Patrick Joyner, red shirt freshman, six foot two, 235 pounds, only five total tackles, two and a half TFLs, but coming off an amazing spring game. An amazing last uh, couple of practices going from defensive end to linebacker, an elite playmaker, and one of my favorite players going into the future. And he's also wearing 52, my personal favorite number. Sam Brooks, six foot two, 205 pound freshman, coming in from the illustrious Miami Northwestern Senior High School, played defense in in high school, coming to play linebacker for the University of Miami. We're excited about what he can bring to the table. Quick, fast, uh, rusher. But we're going to see if he can play linebacker. Now, one of the players who was one B at that weak side linebacker with Mike Pickney is Wayman Steve, Miami Central alum. Six foot, excuse me, 5'11", 223 pounds, red sophomore. Uh, only five, three total tackles to his uh, name, but he's also had an injury riddle season. And DeAndre Wilder, six foot three, two hundred two pound red shirt sophomore, ten total tackles, battling a severe neck injury and might have a career ending. Uh, he might be out for the rest of his career. So. That is our linebacker play. It's hard nose. It's downhill. It's aggressive, but it's also three starters who are extremely experienced and ready to solidify their careers as Miami Hurricanes. And solidify their careers. Uh, and I'm sure you would agree that, uh, as you mentioned, with the Shaq Quarterman uh, challenge and personal challenge to himself in this linebacking core to get wins on the board for this team and to take it personally, despite the efforts of the defense ranking in the top five to 10 in the nation the past few years, uh, the the disappointment of the six losses in the bowl loss last year and uh, short in the Coastal Division that their team had personally, we've got one more go around. We got one more try at this uh, to make it right. We won a division two years ago, but what can we accomplish as seniors? We're going to take it personally. We're going to put this defense and this team on our backs and lead this team to something special this year under a coach who's really motivated to make a mark and be a, a legend at Miami. And you got to think that the, not that they haven't given their all for this university and for this football program, but that extra chip on their shoulder, that extra motivation is going to be there. Absolutely, and it's the one thing about that linebacker position. He is a John Beeson obsessor, talking about Shaq Quarterman. That's yep. his favorite player. That was his favorite player growing up. And John Beeson has a lot of wins under his belt. So I expect to see Shaq Quarterman take over a couple football games this year with also Mike Pickney. Thank you all for having me on Mark Rogers TV. Thank you all so much, and go Kane.